Sinisha in Croatia writes, Hey Paul. Hey Sinisha. I'm interested in how it is that an ordinary microphone capsule that has only two outputs, a plus and a minus, on the connection for a balanced cable suddenly has three poles. How do you get phase and counterphase? I'm familiar with the philosophy behind how interference is canceled. However, I can't figure out how a two-pole microphone suddenly gets three poles. <laughs> okay, well, that's a fairly simple answer for that, but I think maybe one of the reasons I wanted to include this was because there still is so much confusion or just general questions around balanced audio. It's, it's, I think in all the years that I've done this, it's one of the questions that keeps coming up in a way that shows me that people really don't get balanced audio. So let's talk about what it means to have balanced audio. And then we'll dive back into the answer. Okay, balanced audio as opposed to single-ended audio. So we'll start with single-ended audio. Single-ended audio means that we have two wires, a ground and a hot. Signal, ground, uh, signal and ground. And ground is the return for this signal. And if we just look, if we put our scope here, our little ground wire here, and we put our little hot lead here, we see the signal going up and down relative to this. So think of this, when, when, we call it, when we say ground, think of it as ground, and everything is rising up above that ground level, okay? Now, in a balance signal, we have, I don't want to start flipping people off here, so I'll be careful. <laughs> we have two signal wires and a ground, okay? And the single, I, I, see, I got to be careful. <laughs> I'm so bad. I got to be careful. In our single-ended one, you have the signal and ground. Now, in a balanced, we add it. So you have signal, signal, ground. Just kind of like what he's talking about here, except he forgot the ground. So in his microphone example, you have the two hot signal up, hot signal down. Okay. This signal is just like this one, right? It's going up and down. Now we're going to add this one and it's going down and up, down and up, up, down, down and up, down. It's doing the opposite. As this one goes up, this one's going down and we get this. I can't do that very well. And so think of it, if this is ground, the positive signal is going up and down and the other one is going below into the basement, down and back up. And so they're doing the opposite things, which is why we get cancellation and I'm not gonna get into all that. Okay, in a microphone, it's the exact same thing. You have a capsule that is moving back and forth and you have two wires on that capsule and each one is going like this as the capsule is moving in and out. One's going this way, the other's going that way. And somewhere in there, you've got ground and that's your third one that you're talking about. But you really don't even need it. All, all you really need, like if you just take the output of a transformer, it's got this balanced signal. And you, if you put your scope lead here, if you have a differential scope, you put it on here, you'll see the signal going like this. You flip it around, you'll see the signal going like that. So you still have that. And if you flip it around, you get the phase reverses. But I always like to think of it with the ground here in the middle. And this is an easier way, because I did it like this, ground, hot, hot. Really, you want to look at it more like this ground, hot, hot. This one's going down, this one's going up, and that's your balanced connection. Okay? Hope that helps. Thanks.